Facebook ads in 2024 is changing drastically. The thing that we're going to be focusing on today is a specific audience targeting methodology that has changed. So we saw in Vantage Plus, we saw a whole lot of broad targeting and we saw grouping together nearly your entire ad account. If you go back three or four years ago, you could be really, really specific on who you're targeting, why you're targeting them, when you're targeting them. You could even go down to gender, age. Now you can kind of do some of that, but not as much. I'm going to hop into an ad set just to give you an example of what's happening. If we go into the campaign level, you won't see any changes on the actual campaign level. But if you go down to the ad set level, you're going to now have two options. You might see it just like this advantage plus audience with the plus audience suggestion as optional. This is where you could actually decide if you wanted to target very specific custom audiences. So this could be like my existing purchasers or people that have visited my site. Or in the case of an interest, you could just click a specific interest that you wanted to choose. In the past, specific interest would actually only target that one interest. The problem now, what Facebook is leaning towards is similar to that interest. So there's a big difference between targeting people who definitively are in that interest group are similar to that interest group. People that might be interested in an interest that you're hitting might actually not be a good fit for what your product is. As I mentioned, you are going to see Advantage Plus audience. And when you click on here, you will see what feels very familiar, but what is actually very different. If we go to suggestions, I'm just going to take the interest of artificial nails. If you read up here, our ad technology automatically finds your audience. If you share an audience suggestion, we'll prioritize audiences matching this profile before searching more wildly. Suggestion is a very big difference than target. Right now, we are not simply just selecting these audience suggestions and just letting them run. We're going to sit back. We might test this lightly in a few campaigns across our clients. If it works, this is going to be an easy switch because they want us so bad to select these audience suggestions. If it doesn't work, what we're going to do is use original audience. We are going to select our interest group just just like we normally do. And you're going to notice this pops up. Previously, this was a checkbox. Would you want to expand your audience? Yes or no. We no longer have the choice of that. That is a big red flag to me of the direction that Facebook is going. And it probably means at this point, we're going to start to have to lean into some of these tools and optimizations and really just the overall advanced detailed advantage targeting that they're pushing. However, to be safe right now, we don't want to click on a brand new feature with millions of dollars of ad spends across dozens of clients. That would be way too risky. So if I were you, if your brand is successful in running ads right now, if you're kind of in between, you want to make a few small optimizations, I would simply use this as a test. I would not just instantly switch everything over. If you want to see our complete guide to Facebook, click the link below. And if you want us to manage your ads at any time, definitely reach out at the moonlighters.co. And if you just have little questions, hit us in the comments too. I'll see you guys in the next one.